Hi guys, it's Louis here from Smart Home Sounds, a home audio visual retailer based in the UK. And today I've got a five minute lowdown for you on the Sonos Amp. Our lowdowns are designed to give you all the information you need in around five minutes to help you decide if the product is gonna be right for you before delving into our more in-depth reviews that cover the more specific details. This short video will cover all of the connections on the amp as well as the most popular situations you can use it for. Remember, we stock the Sonos amps on our website complete with our six year extended Sonos warranty and free delivery, as well as our 30 day listen better promise if you find you need to swap over the Sonos amp for something different or get a full refund. So without further ado, let's get into the lowdown. The Sonos amp is a compact wireless single zone amplifier that can replace an existing amplifier you have to power your third party hi-fi components like your passive bookshelf, floor standing, in-ceiling or outdoor speakers while still benefiting from the Sonos ecosystem. That means that you can keep any of your favorite third party speakers at home and integrate these with the Sonos app so you can stream music to them or group them with other Sonos speakers around your home just to name a couple of features. The amp is sold at an RRP of 599 and is available in this stealth black color only. So in the box you're provided with the amp itself, the mains power plug, setup guides and banana plugs for connecting speakers. You're not provided with a HDMI cable, RCA cable or ethernet cable so you will need to source those yourself if you need any of those. You'll notice it's a lot smaller than more traditional amplifiers as Sonos have tried to get away from the old aesthetic of amplifiers being bulky and taking up large amounts of space. On the front of the product it's quite minimalistic with a play pause button and volume controls which you can also use for skipping tracks or grouping with your wider Sonos system in in case you are near your amp and you want quick control without needing to open the Sonos app. If we look at the back of the amp, you've got your mains power connection here and the join button for connecting to your Wi-Fi wirelessly, which we see on other Sonos speakers. The binding posts for connecting up to speakers are here and Sonos actually supply banana plugs in the box so the wire can be fed through the hole on the banana plug and then just slotted into the respective channel on the amp to create a stereo pair. You've also got a very useful line in for connecting other audio components such as a turntable or CD player that you'd like to integrate into your Sonos system at the same time. What's great is that not only does it automatically detect your line in source when it's active but once you've established that line in connection with your audio component you can then share that audio around your home to other Sonos speakers wirelessly. If you are interested in more details about adding a turntable to your system, do check out our dedicated YouTube video about that over on our channel. Here you have a HDMI ARC connection for your TV. So if you'd like to listen to the TV audio through the amp and connected speakers, you would use this connection and it also features a very useful IR sensor built in. So you can pair your own TV remote with the amp for volume control, both when you're watching TV and listening to music. What's also nice is that the amp comes with a phantom center channel on board. So for instance, if you had a pair of in-wall or bookshelf speakers either side of your TV, the amp will take parts of the left and right audio and balance this out in the center so you get the feeling the sound is coming from the center as well as the left and right. In our testing this works extremely well and is one of the most notable features of the Sonos amp. You've also got a subwoofer out if you'd like to connect your own active subwoofer to the amp for more bass. You can of course pair Sonos' own sub wirelessly with the amp and you'll then have the freedom to position that anywhere in the room. You also have two ethernet ports, one in and one out, so you can wire both to a router and games console at the same time for a solid connection. On the underside, we have a centralized heatsink, so you can stack multiple Sonos amps on top of each other, and they should keep their cool, which is ideal if you're having a media cupboard with multiple Sonos amps. Moving on to a few situations you can use the amp for then. One of the most popular solutions is to use it in conjunction with ceiling speakers. By using the Sonos amps to power them, you combine the aesthetics of the ceiling speakers with the convenience of wireless streaming from Spotify, for example, which is something we're seeing increasingly in home extensions, renovation projects, and new builds. And again, we have plenty of articles and videos offering plenty of help on this topic, including our very own speaker design service. Another situation you can use the Sonos amp in is to power a pair of bookshelf or floor standing hi-fi speakers to create a left and right stereo pair. You might like the sound of using a separate amplifier and speakers in case you want to upgrade them in the future. The Sonos amp can give you all the streaming capabilities you're after while still benefiting from the sound quality of a wired system as it outputs an impressive 125 watts of power per channel. You can also use the Sonos amp to power a set of permanent outdoor speakers for your garden or patio area. Again, there are many options available such as wall mounted or rock speakers, perfect if you want to go a step further than a portable speaker. 
Finally, the Sonos amp is great with your TV. Power a set of in-ceiling or in-wall speakers at the front using the HDMI arc input, and you can add a pair of surrounds in the form of in-wall or in-ceiling powered by another Sonos amp to create a 4.0 system as an alternative to a soundbar. Another great feature of the Sonos amp worth mentioning is dual mono mode, which was added as a software update a little while ago. If you've got a pair of speakers that are maybe quite far away from each other or in two different rooms, you might not want them to be set up as left and right, so instead you can send a simulated stereo signal to both speakers. So what are the strengths and weaknesses of the Sonos amp in a nutshell? First of all, it can offer a more neat solution for people who still own third-party hi-fi but want to integrate various different types of hi-fi into their Sonos ecosystem. Another strength would be the amount of power this pushes out as 125 watts per channel will be more than adequate for the general day-to-day -day listener. The weaknesses of the Sonos amp are that it doesn't support Bluetooth as it's Wi-Fi only, which means it can get quite costly if there is a need to use multiple amps in your home. And one line in is not a lot compared with more traditional amplifiers, but of course, if you have multiple amps in your setup, this eliminates this potential issue. So what's our verdict on the Sonos amp then? The Sonos amp is perfect if you want to replace an existing amplifier with something more compact, or if you'd like to power your home with ceiling speakers or built-in audio while still benefiting from the Sonos ecosystem. If you're new to Sonos, you'll find the Sonos app is reliable and intuitive to use day to day, and the experience shows when you compare it with other similar Wi-Fi based systems. So I hope you found this video helpful and please don't forget to drop me a like if you did. Hopefully I didn't go too far over that five minute mark. If you want to find out more, do check out our full in-depth Sonos Amp review or some of the other content that features the Sonos Amp on our YouTube channel and consider subscribing if you'd like to see lowdowns from new audio products in the future. Thank you all very much for watching and we'll see you next time.